So let's, let's look at the calendar for a minute. Um, October 1st, put them up to December 1st, January 1st, if they get a 30-day extension. Then I have 30 days to review it or to work with the district and uh, clarify it or make some additions to it before we either have to accept it or reject it. Uh, so that puts us into January. In January, let's assume that uh, we find it unacceptable. Uh, I would then get on my computer, get out my form letters, fill it in, send it to the Auditor of State's office and request that the district be placed in fiscal watch. In fiscal watch, uh, again, you have 60 days to uh, complete an acceptable recovery plan. And the chances are, if you couldn't do it for fiscal caution, you probably are not going to be able to do it for fiscal watch. But it does give you some time. And again, uh, another 120 days, in essence, you have from January. So that puts us up now to middle or to the end of May. Now, that's important uh, right now because there's a possibility of having a levy in May, which could prevent fiscal emergency, if that's what it comes down to. If you can't find enough of the reductions to do, if you can't find the reductions, then you have to increase your revenue. And that's, at this point, about one of the only ways you can stay out of fiscal emergency, especially with the deficits being as large as they are. So the question now comes down as to what extent can we find reductions or can we find a recovery plan for fiscal caution or fiscal watch that is acceptable and um, we'll do the job for you.